Hey everyone, welcome to another episode. Um, today we're going to do some honey extraction. So this is what we've got here to work with. Uh, one box full of frames. So we're going to um, pop to my mate's house um, and do some extraction. So this video I'll show you a bit about what um, happens on that process um, and hopefully you'll find it interesting. set up here in Serge's kitchen so we've got um, all the equipment set up so what we'll do is we'll just um, have a little bit of a, a look at what we're going to be using and then the process of extraction. So we've got the box of honey and then we've got the which will, which is basically an improvised uncapping table for right. small operation um, which is perfectly fine for using for honey then so once we uncap it we got a little trip tray at the bottom so anything right. that caps fall in there, we've got the frame that sits nicely in there, once it all drips in there, once it's done, we just take it over the table into here and chuck it inside. So, the so this is the extractor? Yep, it's been used, right. so it hasn't been cleaned since it's last been used because it's yep. um, yeah, it's not, not needed at this yeah. stage. So Sergi's been working through... Um, doing all his honey frames as well so um, this is the last of my yep. boxes so, so we'll just turn on the hot knife um, I will generally deburr stuff so in my little tray here we've got a nail so nice getting hot we've got a nail the frame rests, rests on the nail we've got that little notch in here so the knife doesn't fall away anywhere it's busy dripping away we've got an uncapping cork for the bits that we miss Got a hive tool, and what we're going to do first, we're going to grab a frame, just rest it, run the stuff off, get the stuff cleaned off, goes with all the rest of the wax. Just sit like that, it doesn't have right. to go inside like it's resting like that, it's, it's actually probably easier when you're working that it's um, sitting like so. Right, so you just clean a whole, yeah, you just uh, don't a, want a few up first, yeah, enough yeah. to go on the um, extractor, yeah. which holds Four frames, yeah, is it? Four frames. Yeah. Well, we're going to do, I'm um, probably going to okay. uncap all of them. So the knife is hot, it's getting warm. What we're going to do is just going to run the, put it on the on the nail. And the reason you do it on the nail, so when you're finished, you can just easily oh, rotate it. Okay, so you can just spin the frame yeah. in your hand. Okay. And then you just rest it and run it along two pieces of wood. And with a bit of a, sort of like a sawing motion back and forth. Right. You just take off what we don't need and what that means is once for next season when you go to put that frame back in there's never a chance that you're going to be squashing bees in the middle right okay so and this is really easy I mean this is not um, this particular frame is really easy and you got a little bit of film but we'll use a scratcher for that okay so we've got another one and you see that it's missing some of it because um, that particular the capping is there. Yeah, so you can see up the top there where it hasn't totally filled out, eh? Hey? Yeah, 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 it's because something else, they would have built out the other frame that was out there. Right. So we're just going to run this up. And first, we're not going to worry about the scratching part, we're just going to do this first. Okay. And then, so the, the caps just go in there and they will drip away. Right. Right, so I'm just going to do another one. Or well, do you want to do the next one? Okay, yeah, I can give the next one a go. You just need to be more frequent when you when you're doing it and it's chiseled edge right so you know if you're going to leave it out too much then it's going to ride up but you need to have it resting against if it was a smaller frame it'd obviously be easy it can rock away a bit more right but still it's that's pretty easy 
And see that little um, dark spot? That's probably got mm -hmm. pollen behind it, yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Or um, there was some brood in there, one right. or the other. So is that okay to extract in the machine that? Yeah, time? yeah, yeah, yep. it's perfectly fine, yeah. So, that is actually pollen on the other, yeah. Just thumb, there's a notch in there. Find that notch, check it. Yeah, that's it. Sweet. Cool, so we've got four frames ready. Now, the next step is put that a bit out of the way. You're checking for that fine film, even though you cut, um, the, the hot wax could have melted. Right. So, you just basically, things that are missing, you just pick up the bits and the edges and just run it like that. Um, not too tough, just basically break that little tiny film. Oh, it's all right, John. I knew you were always slow. <laughs> just don't have certificates to prove it. <laughs> it's just old age. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> I think that's pretty good. Just, just give it a. Just the wipe up and down. Yeah, just, just, just to you know. Yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, just, just where the where the knife has been. Yep. Okay. Quite sticky work, this day. Eh? So you want to check the side that's going to be. If it's a lighter frame compared to everything else, you want to check the side that's going to empty out or has least honey. To extract first so that the frame remains heavier for longer. Start slowly, you let it, you'll see it on the walls, it starts to form little bubbles. And the fact that it's waving, shaking a little bit, it's obviously because it's not that it's, even. Yeah, so unbalanced. Yeah. So all the honey just splatters on the side of that yeah, and runs down to container the and then just runs down to the bottom. So if you find that it's not balancing out properly, what we're going to do is I'm just going to slow it down because obviously one of those that, that light one light frame is enough to put the balance off right um, and the honey's fairly warm so it comes out I'm just gonna I'm just gonna change this frame around um, because it's opposite the light frame right move it around to the other side and I think after this yeah I see what you've done spin it out properly. so that, that side you've just the opposite side's already been extracted so you just yeah. um yeah Okay. Yep. Oh yeah. Yep. Now I can. So you, you can, can see, see how it's on the side there. Yeah. Just going to increase the speed. Yeah. So you can see it collecting side of the extractor. So that stops and then all we're going to do is simple. Each frame, pick up and then twist so the slide that hasn't been spun out. Right, okay, so spun we're out. So doing the opposite side of yeah, the frame so this now. is the extracted frame, or side. It's still a bit weird, we might just do the side one yeah, more time. So you can see it's empty. Yep, yeah, this is the... Oh yeah, big difference there, yeah. yeah. So. Okay. Right, so this is the um, honey that's gone into the bucket so far. Hopefully you can see that. Um, so that'll just go through another strainer here. This is going to be the last strain. And I'm just going to use the surge. improvised filtering yep, uh, just technology. Setting, setting something up here. To little pieces of wood that we put on here, you can see that. All oh, right, yeah, so yeah. it's actually over halfway. Yeah, it's um, probably at least 15 was. kilos in there. Okay, and you're just tipping that into that. Yep, if you watch the, the top part where it's folding, that's how thick that is. Right, yep. 
It makes a bit of a no noise when it's full time. Yeah, so. I can hear it. I don't know how well this camera will pick it up though, but. So we'll just wait for it to strain a little bit because it's. And that's just like a fine cloth. Oh, it's a fine nylon it? um, filter of some sort. Right. Um, bought especially for honey. Um, yep. Conical shape helps it um, drain better. Um, like this latest and greatest silicon technology can help you scoop out oh nice well it's draining we can check how So it actually takes a wee while to get um, drained through too doesn't it? Yes yeah, it's, it's cooled off now. Right yeah so just literally an hour away. Yeah. So we're going to use our refractor meter. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. And what what does this? Uh... So it just tells you the moisture level. Just grab a little bit on your finger. I've already washed my finger. Evenly space it out. On the process scale with just under 82. Oh yeah. So I don't think you'll be able to see it with the camera. No. No, it's not. Um... Try like that. Oh yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's seeing it now. See it now? Yeah. Yep, I can see the 82 as well. Cool. Yep. So what does that 82 mean? How much? Or how little water it's got in it. Right. 82, I think that's on the side there, there's actually a, a scale that shows that it's uh, just under 17% water. Oh, content. okay. Yep. So it's a good number. Yeah, that's good. It's more than what needs to be before we can we need to worry about it fermenting or anything like that. Right, so we're up to the um, final process now. Um, we're just going to start jarring all this um, honey up into these jars here. Da -da -da. And for those people that think they can do it with a spatula, lots of mess. Nice work. One jar of honey. Ta da! done here also is just taking a little sample bottle there and that'll be yeah um, that'll be sent away for Tutin testing right guys that's a wrap for tonight um, it's all gone pretty well thanks for your help Serge no worries um, so we've got quite a bit of honey Don't here tonight. Next year. <laughs> no, he's um, been a good help. So I wouldn't have been able to extract this um, honey without him. So um, tonight we've got quite a few jars there. So um, it was a good effort. The surprising things of um, extracting honey is just the um, time. I think um, so. That's taken. Actually, I didn't start the take a look at the time when we started, but it's been a good what three hours maybe, Serge? I'll probably say close to four. Maybe. Yeah, so four hours. Four work. hours. Yeah, so it's been a good effort tonight. So um, yeah, that's a wrap. So um, if you like this video, uh, make sure you like and uh, subscribe will be good. Um, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Just as there is an interdependence of flowers and bees, where there are no flowers, there are no bees, and where there are no bees, there are no flowers. They're really one organism. And so in the same way, everything in nature depends on everything else. So it's interconnected.